So you just bought one of these, the RTX 3090 Ti, the best card in the RTX 3000 series lineup. Such a good card that it can even rival with the RTX 4080 if overclocked hard enough. However, maybe you want more performance, maybe you want to reduce your power bill by reducing how much wattage draws, maybe your card is a bit noisy and you want it to be quieter, or maybe you just want to reduce the temperature because you are not running a water-cooled build like we are here today. Well, in all these cases, this is the right tutorial for you. Even if you have a water-cooled card, I will show you the settings to improve the performance and get more FPS in games. If in the end you will have like an extremely exotic custom water cooling loop in which temperatures are absolutely no issue for you guys, I will also make another tutorial on how to overclock this card very hard, but I do recommend for 99.9% .9 of people, you actually go ahead and undervolt. As you know on the channel, in our builds, we undervolt all of them, and I do cover how to undervolt every CPU and GPU. So with that said, let's go straight into the tutorial, but first, promise me one thing. If the tutorial ends up being helpful for you, you will drop a like and subscribe to the channel to support me. You don't have to subscribe, but hey, at least drop a like and a comment. It really helps me make these videos. So let's go ahead. Okay, so you're gonna need Heaven Benchmark and MSI Afterburner. Now, both softwares will be down in the description for you guys. So first step is to open up Heaven Benchmark in windowed mode. So uncheck the full screen option and run it. Then you want to open up Afterburner as well. Now you wanna go into settings and unlock the voltage control, voltage monitoring, hit OK, hit apply, and now you will be able to read how many millivolts your card is actually drawing. Now on the channel, you know I like to keep my tutorials short and not to waste you guys time, but since you bought a card which used to cost an exorbitant amount, I recommend you spend a few extra moments to actually learn how this works. So I'm, I'm gonna actually go a bit uh, slower than usual because I'm gonna explain you guys everything that we're gonna do. So now first, tutorial first preset it's gonna be what most of you guys are gonna be using and it's gonna be what you can just copy if you don't want to think about what you're doing okay so you want to click on curve editor right here and you will pop up this thing okay now what we want to do is basically match the same speed or better slightly lower speed than what we are reading here on our gpu but do it with much lower millivolts for example if we want to keep 2000 megahertz, we are going to choose 975 millivolt. So let me show you how you do it, okay? So you start by going on core clock, you hit minus 300 right there, you will lower the curve. Now you grab the 975 millivolt voltage point and you bring it up to 2000. Better to go a bit lower, okay? So for example, 1996 or 2003 is going to be perfect. Then you hit apply, and we will have our undervolt applied, okay? But for most of you guys, you're probably gonna be looking at something like this. So curve editor, and you wanna do basically 1850 or 1900, and you wanna do that at 850 to 875 millivolts. So let me give you the safest one of them all. So you, if you wanna just copy it, copy this one. So you go here, you go minus 300, you grab the 875 millivolt voltage point and you bring it all the way up to 1850 megahertz or, or a bit higher, you know, around there. You hit apply, your curve will flatten out. As you can see, your card is now running at 1860, which in our case is slightly lower, but it's gonna be flat, so it's still gonna be more FPS in the end. And now we wanna just completely unlock the power limit don't worry, the card is not going to actually push this much, but it's just to have it free. And then under memory clock, we want to give it a nice and easy plus 800 and hit apply right there. At this point, we save our profile in one. We click on one, hit apply, hit the start with windows button, go into settings and hit start with windows, start minimized, hit apply, hit OK. And the tutorial is over, so you, you, you can just copy this if you want. But now, let me actually explain you what we've done. So let's reset it by clicking this arrow. The higher the core clock, the more the performance. The lower the voltage, the lower the temperature. And the lower the power consumption, all that good stuff. All the lower the noise, etc. I'm going to give you an intermediate point. It's going to work for a lot of people. So for example, you can do 900 
and 1900. So now let me do it with you. So minus 300, you grab the 900 right here, you bring it up to 1900, roughly 1900, doesn't really matter right there. Hit apply, bam, you have it. Now giving it a bit extra memory clock isn't really part of the undervolt, it's just to get more FPS. It's basically free FPS, you just plus 800, it's free FPS. Most cards will also be able to do plus 1000. I actually have a cool video on the channel in which I explain why sometimes overclocking higher isn't better, so maybe go check that one out if you want to really push the memory clock. But this is basically it. Last but not least, I'm going to show you the highest possible performance profile you can do. This is actually called voltage point overclocking. It's not truly an undervolt, okay? Here's how you do it. The card is running stock at 1.07 volts, right? 1,075 millivolts, 2,000 megahertz. Now, let's say you want to do 2,050 megahertz all the time to get a slight increase and to have it curve flat. How you do it is like this. You go minus 300, you then grab the 1,050 millivolt voltage point, and you bring it up. To 2050. Now this is only going to work really if you have a water cooled card. You hit apply, you max out the power slider, you give it a plus 1000 just to be extra performing and now this is going to be very good performance wise and it's going to be just locked. The main benefit is your frequency. It's not going to be up and down all the time. It's just going to be flat at 2025. 2 gigahertz. It's very high. So guys this is it. Again if it was helpful please drop a like and a sub. Remember your promise. And I have many builds on the channel and many more tutorials in case you want to expand on like overclocking, undervolting, what's good, what's bad. So I hope to catch you guys in another video and uh, see you around. Bye.